Uh, Ultimate X is such an iconic match in the X Division. And this is going to be my fourth time in Ultimate X. The first time was when I won my first X Division championship at Slamversary in 2022. And they are always a huge challenge because, as you said, it's a... It's a, it's a real mix of styles and it's such an iconic match. And it feels like if you watch the the history of the Ultimate X and if you try to have really good ones, you're ultimately competing with Frankie Kazarian and the Motor City Machine Guns in terms of trying to find new ways to use that structure. A, like It's an X above the ring, right? It's mm. on paper. That's a very simple thing. You just have ropes that are crossed. They're suspended above. But it, there's so many complexities to an Ultimate X match. And uh, it's always the the most beautiful challenge to try to solve that puzzle. And especially if you throw in people like Hammerstone, who mm. on paper, you know, shouldn't be in an uh, Ultimate X match. But to have... You know, elements like that in it, as well as uh, different companies mixing into the trademark match from TNA. I feel like the opportunities are endless with this one. I feel like my reign as X Division champion is just beginning and it's already red hot. So I feel like making that match special is, is going to be an important part of this championship reign for me. I just did a ropes and zipline course this weekend. And climbing up, like, I can only imagine, like, that was difficult enough. I can imagine what trying to climb across those cables will do. So so this is the thing about Ultimate X, right? It, it, uh, it's impressive. You see it, the ropes are above the ring and you have to hang, like, dead hang from them for a, sometimes a very long time. And it looks hard. But it's ten times harder than you'd imagine. It's crazy. Honestly, the way it looks never does it justice. It feels 10 times higher than it looks on TV, and it is terrifying. 